going on, guys? We're back. You should be happy we're back. No? Yes? <laughs> Since the excitement in her voice, we are back. We're doing another skillet meal. Skillet meal? We're calling them skillet meals? Sure. We're calling them. Sure. Yeah. Skillet meals. We're going to do some mustard, mustard marinated chicken thighs with some rice. We're going to do it all in the skillet, one pot in the oven. It's going to be super easy. Let's go through some ingredients. We got chicken thighs, bone in. Now, I was asked the other day by someone if you can use boneless thighs because they have a child, a younger child, and they wanted to know if that would work. It will. I prefer bone in. I feel like the bone kind of when you're putting it in the oven with the rice and everything, it gives it kind of a premier flavor, or more depth of flavor, we could say. But you can use boneless. I would just not do boneless skinless. I would leave the skin. Okay, back to the ingredients. We got rice, of course, long green rice. We got some white wine vinegar, two types of mustard here. I have Dijon and then I have a stone ground. I also might throw in some spicy brown because the girl behind the camera <laughs> likes her stuff a little spicy. So I might throw some spicy brown in there as well. In this jar or this ramekin, I have paprika, garlic, powder, onion powder, about a teaspoon and a half of each. We have some chicken stock, oil, and of course the beloved salt and pepper. So let's get started. All right, into a mixing bowl, we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is our paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm also gonna take my Dijon. Oh. And you know, I mean, <laughs> it's always funny that they do them this way. And I just feel like, I don't know, they should, they should do it the opposite way, right? Because then it's like, you gotta let them sit for a few minutes. We should write an email. Then I should write an email to Organic Bill there and be like, hey, you're doing this wrong. Now I'm gonna put about, let's say that's good, about an eighth of a cup of Dijon. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the brown. So you're gonna have a quarter cup total. I'm sorry, not the brown, the stone ground. Quarter cup total of mustard. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. And then I'm gonna put pepper. Now we're gonna count them. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm gonna put 28, because my birthday's on the 28th. Not of this month, but of June. So if anybody wants to buy me anything, feel oh, wow. free. And then I'm gonna do a couple big pinches of salt. How much? Probably close to a tablespoon. Whisk, and we're just gonna whisk this all together. And it's gonna kind of clump together, and it's gonna look like not super loose. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this, so I don't have to oil my chicken. Add just a touch of oil. I just want this to kind of turn into a paste. And I'm gonna do this in small increments, probably about a tablespoon at a time. And that looks good to me. So there we have it, our marinade's done. And our oven, just beep, <laughs> which I forgot to say, we gotta preheat our oven. 350 to 375 degrees. This is gonna take about 40 minutes in the oven or until the rice is done or the chicken's at about 170 to 175 degrees internal temperature. That was a lot, but we don't wanna eat raw chicken. All right, so we're patting our chicken dry and I don't have any paper towels and it kind of wigged my wife out that I was using an actual kitchen towel, but this kitchen towel will now be washed. I'll just rub my chicken hand on it oh, wow. and then it's good to go. We'll throw it down there and we'll wash it. Okay, now we're gonna get a little dirty. I should actually make you do this. That would be- Nope. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take these chicken thighs and I'm just gonna scoop some of this marinade out and I'm gonna rub it all over the thighs. I wanna get in all the little cracks and crevices here. We're gonna do this to each thigh and then we're gonna set it aside. Now we can marinate these. 30 minutes would be minimum, night before would be great. Well, actually we did have somebody ask about meal prep. Yep. I don't know, I hate meal prepping, I gotta be really <laughs> honest. I get it, it helps people and it's great, but we might do that soon, I don't know. So we're over at the stove. We wanna crisp these up a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thighs and I'm gonna lay them skin side down. I don't wanna crowd my pan too much. I think I can get all four in there. And we're gonna let these crisp up on both sides. That way it stays crunchy when I put the rice and the chicken stock in there. Maybe about seven to 10 minutes, we're gonna let them sit. They smell really good already. They're gonna get nice and golden because of the mustard. Seven minutes, we'll be back. So I flipped our chicken. We didn't record it, but that's okay. This is what you want, a nice golden on both sides. Some crunchies on there because that mustard is gonna caramelize. It's looking good. I mean, I'm happy. So I'm gonna take a cup of rice. I'm gonna put my rice in there, and then I'm gonna use my chicken stock. Now, my wife made me put this on the cutting board, but this isn't what I'm gonna use. I made chicken stock the other day. <laughs> She just said that this looked gross because it has floating chicken pieces in it, but I'm gonna use it anyways. So it's not gross. Well, I mean, it, it does just have- It didn't photograph well. It does have floating chicken pieces in it, which it does. I know, it's a little gelatinous, so maybe it's a little gross. 
We're gonna bring that to a boil, which it's doing pretty good already. And then we're gonna stick it in our oven. I'm gonna check it in about 25 minutes, not for the chicken doneness, but just to make sure that we're not running out of liquid for the rice. Put it in the oven, 375, 20 minutes, check it. Actually, we're back. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more rice. So I'm gonna put another cup. So now I have two cups of rice in there and I'm just gonna wiggle this around so the rice gets all in there. And I just wanna make sure the rice is covered with liquid, which it is. We're gonna bring it to a boil once again and then stick it in the oven. Same thing, I'm still gonna check it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes has passed and our liquid is almost all gone. So I'm just gonna add more liquid, cover the rice again, and I'll check it again in 20 minutes. And the next 20 minutes, we should be close to being done. Check your liquid because your rice will burn. I smelled it and I was like, oh, the rice is burning. So it might've been like 17 minutes, but close enough, add more liquid. It was probably more like 50 minutes. And I also wanna say 375 is too high. <laughs> My rice started to get a little crunchy and a little burned. Which is fine on Which, the edges. It's fine on the edges, but, but we didn't want it to go any further than that. I checked the temperature on our kitchen with a thermometer, <laughs> and I you will- check the temperature of the kitchen? Of the kitchen kitchen? <laughs> I meant kitchen. Chick chicken. I checked the temperature of the kitchen. Dang it! I checked the temperature of the chicken with the thermometer, which I will put a link down below for one that you could buy. It's always great to just have a, I'll show you mine, a kitchen thermometer. Mine is just like, it's a meat thermometer. It's not for anything else. So I always have this handy so I know when my stuff is done. Came out of the oven, we're gonna garnish it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, parsley, right? Just a little bit of color. And then I have some tomatoes that were in the fridge. I'm just gonna put a few pieces of tomato in there. Another component to it, I actually really love fresh tomatoes just sliced. My grandmother would just used to slice them and put a little salt on them and feed them to us. So I love tomatoes. It's ready. We're going to serve it and we're going to see how it tastes. Are you tasting it with me or not today? Um, I'll taste it behind the camera. Okay, well, <laughs> that means she doesn't want to take off her sweatshirt and put on clothes <laughs> or do her makeup. So I will taste with you behind the camera. Sounds good. I'm gonna take a scoop of rice here in one of these thighs. We're gonna set that in there as well. And there we have it, our mustard chicken with some rice. We're gonna taste it. That's my dog panting in the background <laughs> because she thinks our house is extremely hot right now because the oven was on. She's a little bit dramatic. I want some of the skin as well. That's really hot. <laughs> But that chicken is really good. It's super moist. That mustard kind of gives it that tang. The rice is cooked well. So skillet rice has become my new love. I actually am really enjoying that. I could just throw it in the oven and it's done. I'm gonna keep eating it, but I'm gonna give you a piece first. What do you think? Delicious. All right, delicious. So I'm hungry. We're gonna sit down and eat now. <laughs> if you like this video, click the button, like, subscribe. We're bringing new content every week. We're gonna continue doing this until the wheels fall off of it. <laughs> or, Sounds good to me. Oh, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time.